We're here in Ocean Beach, San Diego, California at our shop, Vintage Revivals. This is a solid wood console sofa table that we made out in our shop. And we're gonna show you how easy and inexpensive and quick it is to make. So we'll be right back with you when we get started. So these are the uh, brackets that we're gonna use right here. We need uh, four of them for our bench and eight of them for our console table. And the screws we're gonna use are right next door. So we'll get a couple packs of those as well. Uh, we'll be right back to you. We're gonna go get this wood cut. We're here in Home Depot uh, getting our wood for our uh, console table. We have two eight foot long two by 12s and we're gonna have them cut here at the station for us. So it's really handy here because here at Home Depot, they'll cut the wood for you. So we're gonna have these pieces cut and I'll get back to you with what the dimensions were. So here's all our wood cut, way easier than doing it yourself, and this way it's precise and square cut. So we'll be back at the shop, we'll show you how we put it together. We're back at the shop with our lumber all cut. We have four pieces. We have one piece that's 48 inches, one piece that's 38 inches, and two pieces that are 35 inches. As you can see, the edges are a little rough. So the first thing we're going to do is give them a light sanding to smooth them up. And uh, we'll be back with you when we get that started. Okay, so we're all ready and we're going to start sanding. Okay, so we're uh, finished sanding. See on the ends here, we want to get them just where they're slightly rounded and no splinters. Things like that, a little soft to the touch there. So we're gonna do our assembly now. So when we get set up, we'll, uh, we'll be right back and show you how we do it. So we're done sanding and we're going to start our assembly and we start that by setting the two shelves good side down and then we center the bottom shelf. So the top shelf is 48 inches and the bottom shelf is 38 inches. So we center them at five inches. We do that on both ends and then we're going to make a little mark on both ends. I'm going to show you there and then a mark on the other end. All right and now we'll show you what we do next. So we're going to show you how we get the placement for the legs. So the first thing we do is we take a scrap piece of the 2x12 and we line it up with that pencil mark. Okay, once it's lined up, now we take one of our brackets here and we scoot it up until it's flush with the piece and we do that on both sides. Scoot one on the other side right there. So that's our placement and so now we're going to attach the brackets only to the top. Right here, we'll put two screws in to get them placed. And we're going to do that on all four corners. And when we're done, we'll be right back. Now we have all four brackets attached in place. And so we're going to put the legs on now. So we take one of the 30, I think it's 35 inch pieces we have cut. We slide it right into the brackets there like that scoot it in tight and then we'll attach it with two screws one there and one on the other side just to hold it steady so we're gonna do that to the next side and then do the same process on the other end and when we get that finished We'll be right back to you. So we're going to put the bottom shelf on now. So what we've done is we've gotten our um, square set at about 10 inches. You could set whatever distance you want. We hold it on there and then we'll scoot the bracket up to it right there. And we can take the square off. Put a screw in there to hold that right there. And then that there, we will 
repeat on all four sides. And as soon as we've got all those on, we'll uh, be right back. Now, as a uh, side note, we only put one screw on at first so that when we flip this over, it'll give us a little bit of adjustment uh, in case the bottom shelf needs to be just squeezed in just a little. We'll show you what we mean in just a second. So we have all four brackets set with just one screw there. Just one screw. So now we're going to put the bottom shelf, we're going to flip this over and you'll see how we do the next step. So here it is uh, turned over right side up and you can see it's starting to take shape. So we're going to put the bottom shelf on and we'll show you how that goes together in, in the next segment. So we've set the bottom shelf in those brackets and now all there is to do is just put in the screws, the final screws, and tighten it up. Uh, we'll be right back when we're done with that. So here it is, all screwed together, all the brackets in place. We think that looks pretty good and the total assembly time was oh, about 45 minutes. And so now all that's left is to determine if you're going to stain it or paint it. And I think we're going to paint it so we'll come back to you when we get it all finished. But there you go, two boards in about 45 minutes. So here it is, all finished and in our shop. We think it looks pretty good and hope you do too. And we hope you enjoyed the video as much as we did bringing it to you. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, we hope you have a great day.